Hello, everyone, and welcome to a short five to 10 minute presentation on the GGC program that will help you to make a better decision, uh, hopefully an informed decision on what program you want to do and give you a little information about the GGC program, the Granada Guaranteed Curriculum Program. So everyone is very worried about what classes they have, what they're going to do next year, and what kind of program will best suit your student. And this is a time really, in my mind, it's a time of exploration for students. It's a time where they want to have some more choices. In the welcome letter, you'll see whatever program you get into, there's a lot of opportunities. Please take advantage of our free tutoring, whatever program you do. We have free tutoring before and after school. And on a side note, we do need students in our music program, so consider joining orchestra or band or jazz band or one of our choirs. One way you might want to choose a program is to do things in ninth grade a little bit conservatively, simply because it's such a jump from eighth grade. Things are so much more difficult than eighth grade that you might want to choose things a little bit conservatively. You might want to give your student a little bit of leeway in changing their mind. And for that, GGC is a good fit. Whatever program you do, you want to make sure that your student is putting in their homework and study time and that you attend Summer Transition Academy, okay? And just a reminder, the first day of school is going to be Monday, August 14th. Over your four years, you'll take um, four years of English, two years of science, two years of PE, and all programs have three years of social science and two years of world language. They also have three years of math and a VAPA. Now, some programs really differ in their local option. This is where the programs really separate themselves in ninth grade. So let's get a little bit more into that. In ninth grade, this is what the different programs look like. You'll see they do, everyone does in all programs, they're gonna do English nine with regular and honors level. And then you'll see that the math in the next box is the same as well. So all programs are pretty much the same with PE and world language. You'll see IB has some differences there and GGC, um, has the most science choices, and they really have, GGC has the most local option choices. You'll see in the bottom box here that I'm highlighting now. So we have drama, choir, instruments, drawing. We have three AP classes, AP Art History, AP Human Geography, and AP Computer Science. We also have a normal level, regular level, which we call CP or college prep, and then engineering, intro business, and introduction to computer-aided design and robotics. So for ninth grade, this is really where the programs differentiate. You'll see in the New Media Academy, they have one option there. Uh, Global Business Finance has one option. IB has two options for human geography, and STEM has a few options, all of them being more science-based, science and math. If you're looking for details about what GGC options have, the three AP classes, like I said, were AP Art History for GGC, AP Computer Science, and AP Human Geography. One thing you might want to do to help you make a decision if you really want one of these APs is to research and you'll find information from the college board. You'll find the national curriculum that all teachers have to teach. Google some videos for these AP classes too. You're going to find videos from teachers, from students, and from schools. 
when it comes to our local options in GGC, you can find the details on this page. We can provide that information to you if needed. You can simply respond to your counselor's email. Um, like I said, we have a lot of options in GGC. We do need students in choir and instruments. We're trying to grow our choir and band. We also have drawing. So if you really love to draw, please let your counselor know. In filling out the ninth grade course planning form, you're gonna have two levels of English to choose from. There's CP or regular level and honors. All programs have that. If you're in math eight, you're gonna be going into algebra one next year. If you're in algebra one in eighth grade, or algebra one in ninth grade, the next step up, if you got uh, a B or better in eighth grade or a C or better in ninth or 10th will be geometry. And then if you're in geometry now, you'll be moving on to algebra two, especially if you have a B or better. So all ninth graders take PE, that's in addition to uh, marching band and sports teams. And that's the same for all programs. Like I said, science is one area that we differ a little bit. We have college prep, we have honors, and we have AP science in GGC. Any student can take CP or regular level biology, and then we have our honors biology and honors chemistry for honors options. And then we have that AP option in GGC with AP physics, and the recommended grades are Bs or better. We have the same uh, world language choices as most programs, um, Spanish 1, Spanish 2, American Sign Language, French 1, Mandarin 1, Korean 1, and Arabic 1. We also have Mandarin 2 and our speakers level classes, which is for students who understand a language conversation, but maybe, maybe struggle to produce the language. So they don't, they don't speak it, but they understand it that may be a placement in a speaker's level class. So then you're gonna make those local option or electives choices. We're gonna to try to get you your elective. We're gonna give you three different choices. So you'll be uh, having a much better chance to get the elective or local option that you want. Now you look at uh, some more official things and it'll tell you that GGC offers relevant and rigorous uh, a through G curriculum. This allows students to get a wide range of courses and it allows students, students to choose a focus based on personal interest. So we have all sorts of different classes here. Let's get a little bit more into some details there. Let's go over some frequently asked questions. Okay. Now this is a a Halloween presentation, so please excuse the, the pumpkins, but it, it'll fit the bill. So in any program, you're wanna gonna wanna check your, your students' grades, okay? You're gonna wanna do this on a weekly basis or at least a monthly basis. Let's start the slideshow here. Next slide, how often, weekly or monthly, is the grading different in the program is a frequently asked question that we get. Um, the grading is gonna be the same in all programs. You're gonna find that the grading is gonna differ only in the classes. So each class, each program rather, is gonna have your regular level classes, your honors level classes, and your AP level classes. In an honor level class, the teacher is going to expect higher participation rate, more critical thinking skills, and longer essays and test answers. Same with an AP level class. Plus, you can accept, expect up to an hour of extra work per AP class. So those AP classes are really tough. One question we get is, are all high school GPAs the same? Where student GPA is viewed more favorably? Would it be a STEM program student with a 3.8 in all regular level classes or a GGC student 
with a 3.8 in all honors and AP classes. So what colleges look at is they look at primarily the GPA, that's the first thing. Then the second thing that they're gonna be evaluating students on is how many honors and AP, student, AP classes that student took. So to colleges, the honors and AP level classes, that's the most important thing to a college not so much what program they're in. The most important thing is gonna be what actual classes you're in, not the program, okay? Is any program harder or easier? I would say no. What is harder is the honors and AP classes. That's really where things get much more challenging, much more difficult. Does this compare to college majors being harder, easier? College majors are a totally different thing. Totally different thing. If you're majoring in communication, it's gonna be much different than majoring in chemistry or biology for sure, okay? At least it was for me. How much homework is, should students expect? Okay, so every program is gonna have pretty much the same amount but really, again, it comes back to what level classes are they in? Now, an honor student is gonna have more homework, longer answers, more study time. An AP student is definitely gonna have more homework. So it comes down to the classes. A good rule of thumb is, um, this is much different than eighth grade. Now, in ninth grade, one thing I like to tell parents is have your student put in that study time in addition to homework um, every night. So they're gonna come home and say, I don't have any homework. I can watch TV for five hours. Don't worry about it. In my opinion, they should be putting in at least 45 minutes to an hour a night, five days a week to make sure that they're getting the grades that you want them to get. Very different than eighth grade, but uh, the same as other high schools. One benefit of GGC is you can take other programs classes. We have all kinds of IB classes, for example, and sometimes you can end up in a STEM class. You really get more choices in GGC. So big scary questions to ask, no matter what program you're in, is how involved should you be? Um, considering the next step is being totally independent, living on their own, when do they get to practice this responsibility? Is high school a good time to explore things? In my opinion, yes, for sure. GGC is also a good place to do that because they have those extra choices. They can take an art class in ninth grade, and then in 10th grade, they can say, you know what? I want to take an extra math class instead of doing the art thing. And in 11th grade, they can say, you know what, math was great, but now I want to take two science classes in 11th grade. Whereas in other programs, you might not get the opportunity to practice that independence, to practice that responsible decision making. So in my opinion, GGC is all about choice. Um, you get some students who are able to practice decision making more. And that prepares them for a higher level of independence at the next level. And DGC is the, a good place to practice those extra choices. Whatever program you do, start the year with good habits. Have a successful routine before and after school, okay? Start the year with a really good routine, even though it might be easy. And then adjust after you get that uh, first set of grades halfway through the semester. Trust but verify is something we like to say, no matter what program you're in, have good habits and uh, talk about what that means for your family with the details. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your counselor or to your teachers, okay? That's pretty much it for GGC. I think this might help you to make a better decision. And if you have any questions, reach out to us. We're happy to help, okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye.